Welcome back to the area. The sun is shining this afternoon. Four is the magic number this afternoon. Just uh, four games to go for Bedford Town. Four points required. That will be enough to secure a playoff position. The Grand National is also today. That's been brought forward to four o'clock, but this title race is anything but a one-horse race. It's wide open. Bedford Town are underway. The action is right here on Eagle Vision. Brian Blake then wins this race on the far side. It's into Dolce. That's an early chance here for Bedford a chance he's opened the scoring but inside about three minutes Liam Dolson who's been without a goal for a while has found the net early on here and this is the perfect start for Bedford Town sweetly into the back of the net that was Bedford Town 1 Hartford 0 the first corner of the game then it came from a mistake from the Hartford defender Tapped it into touch, but here's Connolly's left foot towards the back post. There it is, back of the net. And this is a dream start for Bedford Town, showing real intent in this one. Leon Lobjoit, your goal scorer, he's bags another one, can't stop scoring at the moment. From the set piece, then beautifully to the back post. Head on it, a rare header from Mr. Lobjoit, but a header nonetheless, and that makes the score Bedford Town 2. Half a nil. Well, two nil to bed for them. Barely enough time to introduce the visitors this afternoon. Half a town, who win a corner on this occasion. Corner's taken, played short then. First corner of the game for the visitors. Played to the edge of the box then. Short pass in then, down on this uh, left-hand side of the pitch. Cross comes in eventually. Big swing by Carl Menser, but uh, can't prevent a corner. Another one. Played in from the left hand side to the near post once again, headed out, goes for a throw in. Throw in taken. Perhaps a hint of it uh, going out, but kept in well. And Dolson takes over here now on the halfway line. Dolson with a spring in his step. He's got Blake on the overlap. Look for Ryan Blake. Still in possession, however. Played square now to the middle of the park. Here's goal scorer Lobjoit. Shot comes in! And that was not far over the bar. Well, on the far side then. Harford then just uh, just seeing a little bit more of the ball now as they play the ball forward. Shot comes in as a motorbike screams by on the A421. And that almost ended up on the A421. Still 2-0. Lobjoit then in a battle. The defender falls to the ground. Leon Lobjoit on the ball now. And that's gone. Go for throw. Well, the throw in then. Far side, taken by Mr. Stallard. Thrown into the box. Oh dear, pinging around. Could have been a lot more dangerous, but uh, not on this occasion. Half a come forward here then. About 25 minutes gone in this one. Shot comes off. Just over the bar. Still 2 0 Bedford. Blakey picks the ball up here then. Fires off a shot. Oh, there's the rebound. Mr. Connolly. Just as we were thinking the game had gone a little bit flat for the last 10 minutes or so, Ryan Blake was there to intercept the ball. A stinging shot was saved. Carl Connolly made no mistake. Rippled the back of the net and that is now Bedford Town 3. Harford Town 0. Lobjoy is onside here. Shot comes off. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's quite a nice day, isn't it? Well, then, Stannard launches one into the box once again. Another dangerous, dangerous area and another chance for Bedford Town. There's a half-time looms and it's, um, it's been Bedford Town really in charge thus far. Oh, Blakey picks this up again and he's sort of over everything at the moment. Oh, Ryan Blake! Man 
Come on, Blakey! <laughs> Whoa, what's going on here? What on earth is going on here? Well, sour scenes here. Absolute madness in this um, in this goal here. A real rush of the blood to the head to the Hartford man. I'm not sure where that's come from. But goodness me, this can only be a red card. Seeing it he's aside, Ryan Blake is okay, but absolute madness at this non level. Oh dear. Four nil Bedford. Well, Hartford Town then down to ten. Bedford. We said four was the magic number, it is four nil to Bedford. With the man advised then Bedford, we could perhaps see a cricket score. Mine. And here's Dolson through. Liam Dolson goes out for a corner. Connolly's corner. Played in left footed. Danger area once again on the half volley! Oh, I thought it went in as well. Just wider the mark. It remains four to Bedford. <laughs> Free kick here to Bedford then. Ball over the top. Keeper gets an important touch on it. Perhaps does a bit of damage in the process. But it will be a corner. <laughs> <laughs> Corner comes in then. <laughs> Ball over the top comes in on the half volley. Bit of danger. Keepers on it. Still four for Bedford. Oh, ball through here. Shot comes in. Does find the net. Offside. Offside given by the man with the flag. Throwing on the far side then as the ball just goes up on the far side. Four minutes added on. It's 4 0 to Bedford. We told you number four was going to be predominant today. Bedford Town happy to keep possession with the man advantage. We'll probably see this out to half time now. Whistle blown then, and that's a half that really is summed up in one word, and that's Bedford. Four goals, the magic number this afternoon are looking very good for Bedford Town. Um, Leon Lovejoy, Ryan Blake, and a moment of madness, of course, to be spoken about from the Hartford man. No, 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 no. A real so, blush of I'm blood ahead. And um, it, well, half a down to 10 men, they're in trouble. There's a second half. He's coming up soon. Half time score. Bedford Town 4. Half a down 0. over it's been quite a happy one in the sunshine we have to admit 4-0 up of course to Bedford Town and uh, a whole another 45 minutes to come crossed in from Hartford played over the top swept away by Ryan Blake who's been sort of everywhere in this game really and here's Dalton who takes it on the chest just behind this uh, gentleman's lovely head here is Dalton brings it forward then Goes out, goes for a corner, does well, Liam Dolson. Well, here is that corner then. Played, played short into Lobjoy, who returns it to Connolly. Who had a uh, unfortunate touch, and lucky. Still four to Bedford. Arthur <laughs> do come forward now on this occasion. Cross it in, oh! Mark Smith blocks that out the air like a panther. Throw it on the far side then, which um, are turning out to be just as effective as a cross. Oh, Mensa rises well, keeper spills it, but uh, Rhino's got his flag up. Ball through here, Lobjoy takes it, left foot in, oh what a finish! What a finish from Leon Lobjoy! Something out of nothing! And my word, this game is a good one to watch as a Bedford fan. Sort of game from nowhere. So that makes it Bedford Town 5. Half a down, nil. Oh, on the far side now, then cross comes in for half, and it's a good header. 
but uh, in the end, not very threatening. Mark Smith saves those in his sleep. There's the break on now, then. that's a fantastic ball out wide to Stallard. Plays a good ball into Dolson, who's got time! That uh, probably won't be on his highlight reels at the end of the season, but a good move from Bedford Town. Here's Lobjoy again, then Bedford with numbers forward. Blake just saw the flag go up. Not going to be on this occasion, still five to Bedford. Well, substitution here, then it's Ryan Blake making way to a um, huge round of applause. His replacement, Rio da Silva. Well, ball forward here then. Ball's crossed in. Where's it going to end up? Pinging across that goal line. I think that's gone into touch. But a chance for the 10 men of Hartford. Play back to Dolson, who played the original pass, who just loses out. And Hartford come away with the ball. Ooh, that's a nice turn. Brings it to this near side then. Plays it down the line. Mensa's getting involved. Number four, predominant again. Well played forward here then. It's um, Hartford that are trying everything here. And credit to them, just giving it everything they've got with 10 men. Bedford's defence though, proving to be resilient, holding strong. And it is still 5-0. The substitution made then. Mackenzie Loney's first job will be right in the box here from Connolly's corner. Rises! It's your boy! It's Mr. Mensa! <laughs> yes! <laughs> Love that, boys! Number six, a straightforward set piece from the corner. Connolly, sweetly on the left foot. Mensa, almost unchallenged. Pops that into the back of the net. That is Bedford Town 6, Hartford nil. Well, about five minutes remain in this one. We're sort of going through the motions here as spectators. As Bedford Town's defence is um, well, proving to be a bit resilient. That one's a bit of a uh, risky ball across the face of goal. Does go for a corner. Still six to the home side. Corner then, taken. Played across, headed out by Bedford Town's defence once again. Who are doing a job, doing a convincing job as well. Free kick here then. Played short to the left hand side. Time to look up. Time to play the ball forward. Hartford then seeing a lot of the ball in the second half. It's been up to Bedford's defence really to deal with the advances. Mark Smith between the sticks. Makes a comfortable stay save there. But uh, not long left to go in this one. Mackenzie Lowe then. Skips inside. That's a swing at goal! Oh my goodness! The venom on that! <laughs> what a finish from Jamal Mackenzie Lowe, who's making a statement here. <laughs> this is smiles in the sunshine this Saturday afternoon, and Jamal Mackenzie Lowe makes it look easy. Over Town 7, half a Town nil. Well, Greeny steaming out of defence like a steam train. Bit to deal with here then. The half of defence counting down the seconds now then so this one's over. As of the Bedford fans, it's been a coast in this second half. As a spectator, going through the motions. But this Bedford Town team have been absolutely flawless this afternoon. Bit of pressure on the defender here, who does clear. <laughs> Well, they are three long peeps on the whistle, and it's been an absolute stroll in the sunshine for Bedford Town this afternoon. <laughs> the sending off did make a real difference, but Bedford Town perhaps had already done the damage by that point. The second half, as a spectator, well, we've been going through the motions, but Bedford Town's defence held out resilient, have done a job, done a fantastic job. Clean sheet for Mark Smith as well. It has indeed finished this afternoon in the sunshine here at the Erie. Bedford Town 7, Harford Town 0. Goodness me, winning feels good, does it not? In the sunshine. God, it's like we've rewound time and we're back at the beginning of the season. Is the bad spell over? Yeah. <laughs> it could be. A sweet Caroline rings around the Erie. This is fantastic. Um, I mean, a scrape past Biggleswade last week, or on Monday, whenever it was, was a nervy finish. As we watch the players huddle in the middle now with three games to go, 
Um, how did Al Biggles weight done today? They were drawing. They were drawing nil nil. We'll get confirmation on that. You'll already know by the time the video comes out. Some happy Eagles fans this afternoon. <laughs> Absolutely fantastic as Lee Bertram comes to um, applaud the fans. And it's moments like this that you really think, as a most of the fans behind us are not leaving, they're going to the bar. There is the uh, 1981 cup winning team, league winning team. And that's the beautiful thing as clubs in and around this league are now finalising their position, winning the league. It makes you realise how rich this club is, full of history, full of full of memories that mean so much to so many people. Yeah, getting a bit emotional. It's, it's a beautiful day, the sun's shining, and Bedford have won 7 0. We move on to the next one, Welling Garden City. There's three to go. Get involved in Bedford's number one football team. This is where it's at, right here on Eagle Vision. We will see you in the next one.